Welcome to another video from Gray Lao 60. This is a staging ground for our round trip on a boat an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back. I'm not sure how long we're going to be spending there, but uh, we're going to the Hua San Cultural Rock Art. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's rock art that was, and, and we'll get into that later, how, how old it is and, and uh, whatever. But, you know, the idea that when you look around this area, this is typical Guangxi Autonomous Region area. You've got the Karst Mountains in the background. Wow, you gotta love that, eh? You know, you've got a little bit of a drizzle, a little bit of a rain. We're in a subtropical area and uh, it's just freaking beautiful, man. I'm telling you, uh, we're going to be going on the Ming, Ming Jiao, Jian, Ming Jian. Uh, it's a, well, it's Bright River is, is the translation. And uh, we're going to be going to see stuff that looks like this. Only we're going to go see the real stuff. You can see on on my uh, shirt here i'll be showing you the backs of the shirts on in the, some of the people in our group and uh, these shirts were designed after this particular uh site uh, it's a since 2016 it's become a unesco world heritage site so, so it's uh it's getting notoriety it's only been this for four four years now and uh the idea is uh, the hotel that we're staying in is, is packed full and it's uh, a Monday. So obviously they need more hotel rooms. They need, it's becoming a, a thing here. And uh, I wonder why. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Let's go, let's go see. Wei Fong, turn around, let me see the back of your shirt. Check this out. Yeah. Discover Guangxi. Well, here we are on the Ming River, Ming Jiang, uh, on a boat that carries about 60 people. So, and they had like three of these boats back at the the staging ground where we where we started from. So they're they're sort of ramping up for more tourism into the area. As it became a UNESCO uh, World Heritage Site, these these rock art areas are. Uh, bringing in a lot of people and this boat is just about full it's a Monday afternoon so chances are that uh, you know weekends are, are are packed full but they just don't have the hotel rooms right now I don't think because the hotel we're in is packed full too so uh, we're just going to take in the sights I'm gonna turn my camera around and uh, just videotape some of the some of the neat stuff that you can see on the Ming River we're heading for Huashan rock art on the side of uh, one of these Karst Mountains, I would imagine. I haven't been there, so I don't know yet. And you can see behind me, up in the, on the side of the Karst Mountains, there's caves actually in these mountains. Uh, you might have uh, watched some of the videos that I did, the ice cave and uh, the other cave here. I don't know, about a month ago those videos came out. Those are made in caves like this. Not all of them are that size, but I'm going to turn the camera around and you can see all of the different caves here. And uh, what, they, what they say is uh, when people die, they put them in these caves up here. So they're sort of like burial places for the people of this area. Go figure. I was going to want to go into one of those caves, but now I'm having second thoughts. It sure it takes us through some uh, pretty interesting uh, background. Turn this around. Actually, we're going by some uh, rock art right now. So, like, I'm gonna try to get over here. You, you can, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not. This is all 
all through this area of Guangxi Autonomous Region. Uh, and why, how, they just, the way it is, I guess. We're at the end of the boat ride, and now we've got to go up the steps. And up the steps, you know, you think that there, there's not a lot of people on a boat until you see the, the pile of people in front of me. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of interest in this particular site, which is weird because I didn't think there would be, but look at this. Lots of people want to see new things or in this instance, old things that they haven't seen before. And depending on who you ask, uh, the official uh, age of these particular uh, paintings on the rocks are a thousand years old. I've heard anywhere from 600 to 16,000, but uh, you know, because that can't be confirmed today, uh, we're, we're gonna just hold it as a thousand because that's what the people that are running this UNESCO site say it is. So a uh, thousand it is. Here comes another boatload of people. Boatload after boatload after boatload. Seriously, people are really interested in this stuff. I like. I can understand it, like, all along here. So check this out in the background. The water levels of 2008 were about up to my hip here. And I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see how deep that is. But 1986, they were up about over my head. Now, now look where the river is right now. Ooh, so you can get some pretty heavy uh, flooding area in this area. They must have had big ladders back in the day or used to climb mountains or whatever. Cause like, you're talking like a hundred feet straight up. They've got these paintings, uh, scary. So you leave Nanning, it's about a three hour drive, 178 kilometers towards the Vietnamese border. Then, what you got to do, well, we stopped and had something to eat and a couple of beers, but you don't have to do that. You can bring your own sandwiches. Then uh, we took a, an hour and a half boat ride to this UNESCO World Heritage Site, go figure, to see stuff that was painted on the walls of these cliffs a thousand years ago, at least a thousand years ago. So think about that. That's like a thousand years ago? Holy smokes. Canada wasn't even Canada you know what I mean so uh, China has history China has ancient history and as I said uh, there is uh, some studies that say some of these are over 16,000 years old I'm going by the the, the people who run the place at a thousand years old though it's not just here that they have these rock paintings it's all through this area so it turns out the people that, that do all of these drawings or did all of these drawings a thousand years ago, uh, they worship dogs. Uh, <laughs> dogs are your man's best friend even a thousand years ago. It's cool. And the, the paintings are of people, they're of, of dogs, they're of other animals, they're of drums, they're, you know. So <coughs> I would imagine that these paintings are showing a story of their lives back then. And uh, you know, it's one of those things that uh, they're, 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 you could write it down, you could, you, could, you could put it on social media, but they had no social media back then. So this is their social media of a thousand years ago, I guess is what you would call it. Anyway, that's another video from Guilao 60. If you like this video, as always, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Thanks for watching. And if you're ever in Guangxi province and you don't go to Huashan uh, art rock paintings, uh, you're missing a big part of Guangxi Autonomous Region. Anyway, that's another video from Guilao 60. Oh, hit the bell. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. And never forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account. It's for a good cause. It's for poor rural Chinese children. They just need a helping hand. We can help them. Help me help them. Thanks for watching. Bye now.
Like Gray Lynn. Exactly. Like Now you look at the background here, and uh, this is just like Guilin. So if you think Guilin has anything over this area of Guangxi Autonomous Region, uh, you're sadly mistaken. They've got they've got art on the sides of their 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 mountains. They've got clouds on top of their mountains. They have the mountains. They have the rivers. They have the beauty. They have everything here that uh, that Guilin and Yangshou have. So come visit.